coming back to liquids that mix, miscible and immiscible, you might be able to see here that there are three layers. I've got some chloroform. It's from this big container over here. Um, I've got some water and I've got some paraffin, as we've had before. But I've poured them in carefully into the cylinder. Notice the chloroform's at the bottom. It's more dense than the water. And the paraffin is less dense than the water. This is a non-polar solvent, and so is that. So the two on the extremes do not mix with water. More dense, less dense, water in the middle. Water is the polar solvent. I'm going to add a fourth substance. Iodine is a non-polar molecule. But it is partially soluble in water, and I have some of it here. And I'm going to put it inside the water layer. So now you can see those layers. Chloroform, got no color. We've got a water layer that's gone slightly brown because of dilute iodine, uh, iodine that's dissolved. And then we've got the paraffin, which is naturally a slightly yellowish color. Question is, what's going to happen if I shake this all up? Remember, we've got non-polar and non-polar. We've got water, which is polar. And we've got iodine, which is non-polar, but only partially soluble in water. I'm going to shake it all up. What's your prediction? You might want to pause the video here to have a discussion with some friends or just to think about it before I show you the answer. Here goes. Whoops. It's building up a little bit of pressure because these solvents quite volatile. But notice you're seeing a bit of a color change. Let's see what we get. We have this beautiful emulsion because the densities now of the polar and the non-polar are not that different. The top layer and the bottom layer have mixed. They are miscible. They mix together. They're both nonpolar. The combined combination, the mixture of the paraffin and the chloroform, is now more dense than the water. So it separates at the bottom. But it's not a huge density difference. And you can see this emulsion in the middle. And it doesn't separate quite so easily. But the water layer has gone a lighter yellow color. And the non-polar solvent has gone pink. And that's because iodine prefers to dissolve in the non-polar layer. And when it does, it has a pink color. And when it's in water, it has a brownish or light yellow color if it's very dilute. As an extra demo, not in separation, but just in noticing the differences, I showed this. Here we have three layers. This is some paraffin, non-polar. This is water with a weak solution of iodine, which is actually a non-polar substance, but large enough to be partially soluble in water. And in water, it has a brownie color. Betadine ointment, for example, has got a brown color because of the iodine in it. And at the bottom, we've got chloroform. But when I shook it up, it made this emulsion. And it actually changed color. It went pinkish. And it took some time for the emulsion to separate. Why? Because I had combined the top layer with the bottom layer. They are both non-polar, and therefore they mix and dissolve in each other. The combined um, density was slightly more than the water, but not dramatically more, so it took some time to separate. And eventually you could see this was the combined paraffin and chloroform layer with the water on top. The water layer has lost some of its brown color as the iodine prefers to dissolve in the nonpolar solvent.